Hi guys, it's Janet Wakeland with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's really quick video, I'm going to show you some ways that you can alter these beautiful gold vinyl stickers from Stampin' Up. Let me give you a couple of card samples real quick, and we'll come back and talk about them at the end. But these all feature vinyl stickers that have been altered, and lots of other fun products as well, too. So, I'll just kind of go through these. And here you can see two side by side. One is the gold, and then one has been altered. So let's take a look at the stickers, and then we'll come back in, and I'll explain a little bit more about the cards. So Stampin' Up! has do two different sets of gold vinyl stickers. These can be found in the annual catalog as well as the spring catalog. In the annual catalog, you will have our Eastern Palace gold vinyl stickers, and let me pull those out of the package for you. And there are four in the sheet, in the set, excuse me, two sheets of each. So in this case, you have these really fun ones and these really fun ones here. And these would be really fun to alter. So you've got that happening. And then in the spring catalog, we have this one that goes with the painted love suite. And I love because some of them look like brush strokes. But when I got to coloring, they ended up actually looking like washi tape as well. So, and again, you have two each. So we have this one here, and then we have this one here. So let's go ahead and let's just work with this piece right here in front of me. So what I'm going to be working with to alter these is I'm going to work with our Stampin' Blends. Because they're an alcohol marker, they work almost like a Sharpie, enabling you to color on anything. And when I was working with this technique, I like to color right on the vinyl sheet as opposed to trying to color on the cardstock, worrying about going outside the lines and things like that. I'm going to work with the brush point and I'm going to just lay it on its side. And I'm just going to kind of stay close to the edge of the lines here. And it is drying as I work with it. And I did find personally as I worked with this technique that the darker of the Stampin' Blends worked. Remember that the Stampin' Blends, there is a light and a dark variation of the different colors. And I did find that the lighter one worked for me the best. And so we're just going to go in here. Sorry about that little squeaking noise. That might be the only downside to this technique if you're sensitive to like fingernails on the back blackboard or things like that. That sound might get to you just a little bit, and I apologize. And in this case, I'm going to go beyond the line just a little bit because I know where this lifts up. And so one of the ways then that you're able to alter them is with your Stampin' Blends. Give it just a few seconds to dry, and then you're able to pick it up and adhere it down. It will have a little bit of a shiny look to it because it is a vinyl as well as it will have a little bit of that gold behind it. So then one of the other things that I did on one of the other projects is I gently removed this gold piece here and I wanted the silver side. Okay, and the silver side I wanted on a card, not on a window sheet and normally you wouldn't tear them. So pretend like I did not just break that. So I have this happening here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of lay this down and I'm going to just lightly put a little bit of adhesive and a few places on this heart. And we'll just put it on here. And I happen to have a piece of crumb cake here that we're going to use. And so now I'm able to go ahead and stick that heart down. So, oops, there we go. The problem is, this is the sticky side. The silver is the tacky, sticky side. So now I need to get rid of that sticky. I just took the embossing buddy and I just lightly pounced on it and got rid of the sticky. And I could wipe off any excess just like that. And now it's no longer sticky and I have the silver. Another way that you're able to do the silver and have the silver side show through, let me show you on, um, where's my window card? Here on this window card, the, the sticker is actually a piece of window acetate. And so the gold is stuck so that you can see the silver through the window. So that's another fun way for you to alter those. So lots of possibilities for you when you start to work with these using the Stampin' Blends to color them 
And again, you can kind of try to stay real close inside the lines. You could actually add a couple of different colors to it. But they do dry. I mean, they're not coming off on my fingers or anything like that. So let's come back in here and let's just add just a little bit more. And of course, you also have that fine bullet point if you want to get re real detailed. So now let's go back and let's look at the samples now that you know how easy that technique is. Really, that's all it is, guys. It's just coloring on the stickers. So let's take a look again at the projects. So this sweet little wedding card, again, the silver, the gold heart is stuck to a piece of window acetate. And then we did this piece here by adding just a little bit of adhesive to the gold. Once we had the heart down fast, I tapped it with the embossing buddy to take the adhesive off of that. So that was a way to get a different color showing through and to get a little bit of the adhesive on the front of that, or um, silver on the front of this wedding card. This card here, I used the gold as was, but we also then have a little piece here with some red on it, and we're using them to create a washi tape effect as if this was adhered down with washi. And we've got our beautiful blended flower from the You Are Remarkable. On the back of that is some of our fancy foils paper. And what's neat is the fancy foil paper can also be colored because it's also um, an acetate. And you can see here where I've started working to color this. And so I can color just like this. And I can just start to kind of color it in the way that I want it to be. I could also, depending on how detailed and how much coloring I wanted to do, I could come in then and, oh, there's that squeaky sound again. I apologize for anybody that's sensitive to sounds, but I can just start to color it in, and then we're just going to, you know, wait a few seconds for it to dry. Or in the case here, if you can see where it's all pink, what I did was I took the pen on its side, and I just colored over the whole thing. And you could let it dry if you wanted it with that, but I wanted more of the gold to show through, and I just wanted that light look like you see here. And then I just gave it a buffing with my paper towel, and I'm left with that tint to it. So literally what you're doing is tinting it. So again, you can color over the, the images in that fancy foil acetate, just like you could our vinyl stickers. But again, on this one, we just used the washi tape effect. These two side by side, I just kind of wanted to show you. I don't know how well you can see this one. There you go. See the little gold and the cute little hedgehog. It's actually a little shaker card. So we have our cute little hedgehogs. And here we have our little spring card. The ribbon, while I had the blends out coloring the acetate, I actually went ahead and used the bronze to color the gold vanilla trimmed ribbon. And so that's also done with the blends. So those blends are so versatile. They are an amazing um, addition to your collection of crafting supplies. And right now during celebration, if you purchase the entire set, you could select two celebration items. Here's another simple little card. This was just done with the brush show and white embossing. And again, just using that little vinyl sticker as a piece of washi. That's the Sending Lots of Love stamp set. This card here features our new springtime foils that I used brush show on the back with. And I just used a Bermuda Bay um, Stampin' Blends to color, a little bit of copper, and some of our beautiful celebration ribbon. All of these will be on my blog for you um, in the coming days. And then here we have that heart that was colored and just simply added love you. And then the spritzing on the back of this was done. You would have seen this in another video that I did where I used rubbing alcohol and re-inkers in a spritzer and just spritzed over this beautiful uh, springtime foils paper. So go ahead and have some fun. Pull those blends out and have some fun altering and using your gold foil papers. Now your gold vinyl stickers, excuse me, um, creating anything that you want. Make sure you look down in the YouTube description below for links for ordering any and all of the supplies. Also, we are winding down on Celebration. Celebration is an amazing time with great free products. We are also halfway through our spring catalog. And then, of course, we still also have our annual catalog. And if you do not have copies of any of those and would like one, just make sure you also use the links in the YouTube description so that I can help you um, continue to build in your craft stash. So have fun creating remarkable things, guys. Take care.